morning, good day. Okay, this is gonna be, first of all, I just wanna start this by saying I've had an epiphany. A lot of you have reached out with blockages in your love life, blockages with your money, depression. Some of you I work with on a continual weekly basis to try to remove these blockages. And nothing seems to be working. You've done shadow work, um, but yet you still have these blockages that are like otherworldly. Okay, let's just say that. I finally realized what it is. Only throughout my own, because I had to deal with it myself. Okay? This is how it always happens, but that's okay. Okay? The problem is not anything that we are doing wrong or that we have done wrong. For some of you, and I will say for some of you, if not all of you, the problem is a spiritual spouse. Now, there are some people who have willingly married a spiritual spouse. Okay. And for those people, you guys can click off. There are shamans that do this, that marry spiritual spouses. Okay. Who you know, they just remain single forever and they're married to a spiritual spouse. Uh, that's not my life. <laughs> For those of us who have unknowingly been married through an arranged marriage or forced marriage, this was to prevent us from reaching our destiny. Okay? This is how I'm going to tell you why or how you're going to know. Actually, I'm going to tell you how I figured this out. So I have been channeling masquerade masks for a while now. You guys know this. I've been channeling 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, timeout. You're being put in timeout. Okay. I've been channeling all this crap. Jason, James, uh, Mike, Michael, um, all that okay also discovered that the word that the name Hades means Adam okay yeah okay um what else have I been channeling 911 again venom snake That's about it. Oh, the garden, the Garden of Eden. Garden. Um, I've also been channeling Jacob, Elijah. Um, somebody could also be in jail. I, I had someone call me from jail the other day that I don't know anybody that lives in Chicago, Illinois, but someone called me from jail. It was a man. Um, never answered because I don't know them. But when you channel things, when you're a psychic, weird things like this happen because it's the universe talking to you. So, how I figured this out was this. In every one of my relationships, the person I have been with has had money problems. Including myself. To the point where really couldn't focus on anything else other than making money because once I started focusing on anything else my money would go away why is that that's to prevent you from reaching your highest potential okay that's one indicator money problems um, relationships always falling apart <clears throat> when you're actually putting in work and doing work attracting the same energy over and over and over you're attracting that spirit so that spirit spouse is encompassing that person okay and i'm talking about after healing work you know you're like what the hell why am i attracting these people it's a spirit spouse 
you're married to someone well not someone but a demon it's a demon uh, i don't care <laughs> it's a demon okay um anything that's trying to keep you from your higher self is a demon okay let me explain to you how i figured this out i didn't tell you guys this <laughs> not that long ago well growing up i grew up in a house well you guys know from the time i was a kid until 13 i was i grew up in various circumstances various homes often left alone abandoned you know the the normal story like in very tumultuous situations oftentimes by myself anyways um that leads me to my next thing also if you've encountered trigger warning for some of you if you've encountered sexual abuse by a family member this energy could so they are incestuous spirits as well they can be okay so meaning your family member had an attachment and that attachment connected to you and it married itself in the astral realm to you from this family member okay that could be significant for some of you sorry I had to eat I don't like to fast for too long um, this is something that helps with my IBS <laughs> Okay, so that is for some of you, okay? Um, from the time I was 13 until I was 18, I lived with my grandmother. The house that she lived in. So I never had, by the way, I never had like weird dreams or astral projections. I, at least I don't remember as a child. Keep in mind, I grew up like... When I tell you that, you guys know that I said I don't have much fear nowadays, right? It's because from the time I was a child until 13, I literally was in fear every day of my life. And I'm not exaggerating. There wasn't a day that went by that I was not in fear. Um, in fear that my mom would die, in fear that I would die, in fear that um, we wouldn't have food. I was always fearful of something, some kind of lack in my life, okay? Maybe fearful of abuse. I mean, it's always something, right? Um, to the point where I had an aunt who is a horrible fucking person, by the way. Keep, okay, just keep that in mind, too. An aunt who is a horrible person. <laughs> this bitch is horrible. I, I can't even, very vain, very surface level, a liar, manipulative, just disgusting person, okay? She used to call, pick on me, bully me as a child, okay? She knew what kind of life I had. My mother was her sister. She knew, okay? But she didn't want kids. So I guess to make herself feel better, she would come and pick me up. And during the time I lived with my mom, during abuse, okay, she knew I, could, I was dirty, but she would come pick me up, take care of me for the weekend, and drop me back off. I guess that made her feel better. She would buy me clothes and whatever. Um, but it always made me feel bad because I'm like, I knew that she knew what was going on because there were times almost every time that she would drop me off that my mom was high on drugs to the point where she couldn't even talk. Okay. And I would be like five or six. I remember this vividly. I don't remember all of my childhood, but I remember bits and pieces. <coughs> uh, so she knew, <laughs> she knew. Um, and she left me there. Okay. She would bully me and she had a nickname for me called Nervous Nelly. Because they thought it was funny that I was always nervous as a child. Yeah, I know. I can, <laughs> some of you are going to be like, wow, what disgusting. Yeah, that, that's my, that's when I tell you, this is why I tell you guys about karmic family, 
and about hidden enemies because some people are just fucking vile they just are dude and like there's no rhyme or reason it's just in their spirit and when i say that it's done to god's chosen it's definitely spiritual fucking warfare because i was a child and she was laughing at my pain and bullying me because of my pain as a kid as a little girl who did nothing to her but from a spiritual perspective people will tell you your spirit my spirit aggravated her right because she's a fucking demon basically okay and they tried to break me they tried but they didn't so spirit wanted me to tell you that i don't know why but maybe you had similar instances but yeah like when i tell you like <laughs> it's just atrocities you know like there's there's people who've had rougher lives than me but like that's why i tell you to be kind and that's why i'm always preaching kindness because i know what it's like not to have kindness at all to be just treated horribly for absolutely no reason just for existing okay just for just for living breathing um so that's why i'm so compassionate um i went the opposite direction <laughs> okay i'm more compassionate than i should be instead of being completely devoid of compassion which some people are um so when i moved in with my grandma <laughs> You know, you guys know that things went better for me because my grandmother is a fucking saint and she helped me. She healed me. She never gave up trying to help me. And um, she did. She literally saved me. And... Um, when I moved out of her house, she begged me not to leave, but I told her, like, I'm ready to start my life. You know, I'm ready to live my life at 18. <laughs> and I had been working since I was 15 because that was something she instilled in me to be independent. So I never had to depend on anyone because her marriage to my real grandfather was horrific. Very, very bad. Like she had false teeth by the time she was 28 because of the abuse. Um, and that was the story for most of the women in my family so it was a lot of generational trauma um, a lot of feeling forced into marriage and a lot of feeling like you had to put up with things in marriage um so I have English ancestors and English relatives on both sides, um, even on my Italian side, but most of the abuse came from the English side. And I don't know why spirit is wanting me to know that or wanting you to know that. I don't know what that means, but not to say anything about English people, but because I am, you know, my ancestors are, my family is, but I don't know. Maybe there's something about that. Um, there's a lot of alcoholism in the family. Um, there's a lot of people not knowing where they're from. My real grandfather never had a birth certificate. Nobody even knows. He doesn't even, he never knew, he's dead now, but he never knew his real birthday. His father was murdered. I mean, my family is... <sighs> I 
there is violence and murder and SA just riddled in my family. Um, physical abuse, spousal abuse, child abuse. I mean, it's, fu I mean, like, you name it. And then you have the men on my father's side of the family who are all Freemasons. And I feel some kind of way about that. There are people who are, I know Freemasons now. I, I'm not like friends with them, but like I know them. And um, I don't know how, I, I don't know how I feel about it because I don't know. Because I know what I've seen. And it ain't good. Okay? Anyways, we're gonna get off that. But, <clears throat> Spirit wanted me to tell you this, okay? This is gonna be long. This is. <laughs> Something about you having to know the history, or maybe you can relate to the history of my family. I don't know. Um. I've been channeling secret society for a long time. That's why I tell you I have mixed emotions about this um, or about that because I don't know, because there's something just not right in my spirit. Some of them are good people, but some are not. Um, and I don't trust it, but anyways. And my brother has stories. He's not a Freemason. But they tried to get him to join. And he has stories of weird shit going on that made him run for the hills. Uh, my ex-husband was... They tried to recruit him. Weird shit that he came home and told me when he went to a lodge. He was like, I don't like it. That is why I'm telling you there's something wrong. I come from a long line, like every man in my family were, was a Freemason on my father's side. He was from England, except for him, he chose not to do that. And he was awakened, authentically <laughs> awakened. Um, and I say that because if you know anything about Freemasonry, you will know that they force enlightenment. They do. And I know this for a fact because my ex-husband was recruited or he never became one but they tried to recruit him okay so i know that for a fact okay <sighs> to me that is this false light okay but if you know anything about that go down the rabbit hole on that one okay we ain't gonna talk about that <laughs> i'm telling you okay now when i moved out of my grandmother's house so you guys know when I'm channeling and when I'm telling you these things, it's because spirit wants me to, okay? When I moved out of my grandmother's house, I started astral projecting. I never astral projected into my gr in my grandma's house, okay? But I didn't know this until after I called my grandma and I talked to her. She didn't know what astral projection was. I didn't even know what the hell was going on. But I just said, you know, it's like a dream where I feel like I'm awake and I'm asleep. Because, yeah, because I was. <laughs> and and um, things, the reason why I know it was astral projection is because things that were happening in the 3D and I was asleep, okay, I knew what was going on. Like, I would wake up and tell, every, tell my fiancé at the time what he was doing. And he was like, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and keep in mind, we were Catholic at the time. Like, I was still a practicing Catholic at the time. And he was too. So he was like, uh, okay. That's weird. Um, and, like, I could see what was going on. That's how I knew I was astral projecting. But anyways, I called my grandma and I was like, this never happened in your house. And I want to know, like, what do you think? Because I used to always go to my grandma for spirit, spiritual advice and advice in general like she was my rock literally and she said I don't know but she said I feel like it has something to do with the house my house and I said why what's 
what is with your house? And she said, a priest died in my house. A priest owned this house. And he was a really good person. And she knew that because she did the research before she bought the house. Because my grandmother is very sentimental. I told you she was, like, awakened. She was, like, long... She was, like, advanced soul way before her time. Okay? Um, and she did the research, and that was what prompted her to buy the house. Because she was literally a devout Catholic. Um, and... I was like, oh my God. So I was protected in her home. And when I left and she begged me not to leave, she begged me to live with her until I was done with college. And I said, no, like she was even crying. And I was like, no, I think a part of her knew that whatever thing was, had attached to me, by the way, it attached to me when I was 14 years old. Um, or I became aware of it at 14 or something like that. Okay. It attached itself. Um, she knew that it would come for me. Okay. Um, and it did. Um, and 2112, as I said that. <laughs> and what it looked like was it's a figure and a cape, a hood. That's it. It's a hooded figure and I, I can't see eyes, I can't see hands, I can't see anything. It's like literally, it was like invisible, but it was wearing a hood. And this thing would force me into astral projection every day. And I would just see it <clears throat> standing beside my bed and then it would like pull me under the bed. Then after years of me living, like I didn't know what the hell this meant. Then after years of me living, um, I just noticed that money was always an issue for me. Um, I could never have a stable relationship. I always battled with things. Um, anyways, fast forward and when I got married, Okay. He had never, he didn't believe in energies or spirits or anything like that. And he said that as soon as we got married or that when we got married, that he started being haunted or he felt like he was haunted by something. And he said he would wake up and it, it, he would feel something pulling on his feet or touching him or like wanting it to get out of the bed f away from me. Okay. Yeah. This continued until we divorced. He was a karmic, but this did continue. And I used to make fun of him and say, well, it's, it's protecting me. Yeah. Um, then, like, that's what I would, that's what I witnessed. Like, this thing, I would astral project and it would be, like, laying in bed with me. Um, I would have sexual dreams but it was masquerade as people that I was dating. That's the masquerade that I was seeing, okay? I had miscarriages. Um, I lost money. I lost friends. It wanted me to be alone with it. That was the whole intention. To keep me stuck in a low vibrational state alone, just as I was as a child, and in lack, just as I was in a child, as a child. So it, it it's like this spiritual spouse wanted to keep me in the state that I was being abused in. Okay? That's how it affects you. Okay. It can attack you um, when it becomes smarter, okay? When you start to catch on and you're like praying or you're going to church or whatever it is that you're doing and it's like, oh shit, I got to hide even better. It may try to energetically send you energy and masquerade as someone that you're in love with, someone that you have a tie to. Um, it will come into your dreams as this person. It will mimic this person in the spiritual realm. 
Um, so I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> so, um, someone who I was dating left and I was at my house by myself and I astral projected and this thing was like doing the same mannerisms that he had done sitting on the bed in the same spot <coughs> flipping the covers the same way he did so that's the masquerading spirit And all this time, <laughs> I was being warned and I didn't figure it out until yesterday. <sighs> so all of these things happen, okay? This, this thing has even grabbed my butt in the real, like when I was awake, like at my desk, okay? Grab my butt, okay? Um, <sighs> and the reason why, so... It attacks divine feminines, divine masculines, because we're connected to the spiritual realm. Like, I'm prime pickings here. You know what I mean? Like, we are prime pickings for these energies because we are connected to the spiritual realm. We're open to them. So they're like, oh, yeah, this is like a, a real life relationship, right? As good as it gets. Yeah. Okay. Um... Let me see what I was going to say. Oh, okay. So yesterday, I was trying to, I did a cord cutting yesterday. So I do cord cuttings my own way, intuitively. I do my own thing, what I'm guided to do by my spirit team, the Most High God, Jesus, all that. Okay. I was told to sit and watch the wick of a candle. I was told I did not need cords. Do not message me telling me I did this incorrectly because like I said, I'm this is my what I was instructed to do. Okay? I did the cord cutting and the wick, well, it was a cord cutting, but it wasn't like, um, I didn't use a cord this time. I just used a candle, a small candle and a chant. The wick circled twice inside of itself before falling into the wax and burning out completely. And I watched it do this as the candle burnt. And I channeled at that time, somebody has bound themselves to you for eternity. And I said, what the fuck? I prayed. I started crying because I knew that was the case. I knew it. I had felt it in my intuition. I'd, that's why I did the cord cutting because I had knew this had been done. And this was why I was not allowed to, my free will was being imposed on, basically. I, my free will was being imposed on, and I was being punished every time I made a decision that was not in alignment with this thing, with whatever this energy was. And so... I would, it was hitting my finances, it was hitting my relationship, it wanted me alone. It was like the same thing all over again. It was like, you're going to be alone, you're mine, you belong to me. That's what I was channeling. And it was masquerading as different people. And I was like, who is this? So I prayed yesterday and I prayed for guidance and I prayed for the truth to be revealed and I prayed to Jesus and I prayed to the Most High God and I was like, you know just r reveal what this is or who this is because I'm trying to live in my divine purpose. You know, I have done everything that I could do. I have let people go. I have, um, you know, done everything that I have been told. 
and there's something energetically blocking me. <clears throat> I mean, and I'm talking about weird shit. Like, you can't even make this up. Like, I have non-believers who are attached to me. I am friends with atheists, okay? I have said that before, and I will say it again. I am friends with atheists. And then they have even looked at me and said, I have never been around someone who has had the most unexplainable circumstances surrounding their whole life that they have witnessed and they were like it's unbelievable like and they're atheists <laughs> so they're looking at me like what the hell like i have made them question their beliefs again and they are currently doing that again going through like a crisis <laughs> because they're like what the fuck is going on in her life like you can't make it up there's something going on in the spiritual realm that they didn't even think existed okay so anyways <laughs> so I was like and I kept hearing be brave I also kept hearing we told you it was going to get worse before it gets better you knew this was coming be strong Okay, <laughs> here we are. So I feel like this is the enemy that's trying to attack our resources. Um, other things that, so you could have spiritual children that you've had with this thing. I don't know if you guys remember me telling you in videos ago of how there's always been a bunch of children that followed me around. <laughs> this morning I woke up to a message from someone who I connect with spiritually in the spiritual realm. She channels a lot for me and um, it was, you have to break your spiritual spouse contract. <laughs> and so those children that I was hearing and that were calling me mama are my spiritual children that I had with the spiritual spouse. <laughs> so if you guys are experiencing the same type of shit, it's time to cut ties with this thing. This thing could be blocking your money. This thing could be blocking love. This thing could be blocking you from getting pregnant because it doesn't want you to be with anyone but them. This thing could also be, have possessed someone that you were attached to. Okay? <laughs> it can be attached to someone that you are attached to. If that person had a weak spirit or, or was able to be infiltrated in some way through an addiction. Uh-huh. You have to cut cords with this thing. <laughs> Now, I have to do another cord cutting because that one didn't work. But I had targeted a specific person when that happened, okay? And the fact that it turned around twice was an indication to me. So when I look that up, what that means, it means... Um, God was basically telling me that I can't cut cords with that person because it wasn't that person. It's not that person that's doing that to me, basically, in other words. Okay. Two circles overlapping means a union of opposites, heaven and earth, the union of heaven and earth, male, female. Right. You already can guess who I was trying to cut cords with. If you're like, oh my God, is it her counterpart? Yes, it was. I'm guilty. Yes, because I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. And yes, I have told you guys you can't cut cords. And that's why. See, I, I, I fuck up for you guys to be able to tell you guys. <laughs> okay. 
I cannot cut cords with this person because they are my other half, okay? That was God intervening, saying, you can't undo the union that I've done. And that's not even, the energy that's doing all this is not him. That was my message. It's a spiritual spouse that's doing this, that's masquerading as him. Which makes sense because I have had a sex dream of him before and in my ear I could hear like an angelic voice that said, that's a demon. And it was a whisper, that's a demon. And I was like, I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, are they saying that he's a demon or are they saying that that was a demon? Now I realized they were saying that was a demon. That was masquerading as him. Succubus, incubus, yes, those are spiritual spouses. So you have to, I think this is coming up too, because this is a sexual demon. This is a sexual tie. This is how these spirits have latched onto you for so long. You have to heal your sexual trauma. A lot of you that I'm connecting with are healing sexual trauma at this time. Okay. Um, and you have you're purging it, you're, it's being brought up. This is why, this is why this thing is preventing you from fulfilling your fucking destiny. Okay. You have to get divorced. I'm going to meditate today and, you know, in order to figure out how to cut the cord you can Google it, I'm sure. Google it and use what you're guided intuitively to do. Um, but you can get a divorce. Okay? This is nothing but an evil soul tie. Like I said, some shamans do this because they want to. They want to be with them. That's fine. Do you, boo. But that's not our path. Okay? It's not our path. All right? We're not meant to be in union with the demon. We have a counterpart. Okay? Okay? You have to cut that tie. You got to cut out that infiltration. Um, divorce that entity and let it go. Okay? It's jumping from bodies to bodies. Um, Leviathan could be an energy. It can masquerade. It, it, it's that. It could be that energy as well. Okay? Um... It's a temptation, right? It tempts you. It, it strays you away from your purpose, from, from your life path, okay? And like I said, it can be encompassing and possessing individuals, okay? This is why you have to use discernment, and this is why you have to make sure your boundaries are being respected respected and this is why you have to just be honest and authentic and live in your integrity because it's important to do that when you are a spiritual person okay and a spiritual healer because if you're not acting in integrity then you're weakening your own spirit okay and you are being susceptible to these types of things now this is being shown to me because i really feel like this is going to catapult some of you this is going to remove some of your blockages because it is divine timing in order to do so. There is something coming for you, abundance, blessing, something that this energy has been standing in the way of. And it's time to divorce it. Okay. <clears throat> this is something that your ancestors could have tied to you. If, if you, you know, you're... I'm channeling this and I've been channeling this. This is something that your ancestors could have sacrificed you to. A specific demon that your ancestors made a pact with and said, sure, you can have this. You can have the 10th newborn girl or marry her or what, whatever. That's for some of you, not all of you. And that's why you've been fighting this thing for your whole life probably. Okay. Or it could have just jumped on you from your family member. Who knows? Okay. But this is a message for some of you. Yeah. See? You could be a Gemini. This thing 
the devil is infiltrating, is coming between the lovers. That's, that's the counterparts. And it makes sense because we all know that it, that likes to pervert everything in the, that is in the image of God, correct? It likes to pervert it. It likes to replicate a perversion of what God has created, right? That's a yes, okay? So this thing could have brought back a past life partner to you that is coming in between you and your twin on purpose, okay? As an infiltration. Yep, you could have married this, this thing. It could be attached to a karmic partner is what I'm saying, okay? Yeah, cancer could be significant as well. For some of you. Yeah, this is this is over though. This is coming to a close. And remember, three eight. Remember, I kept channeling thirty eight. Today is three eight. I kept channeling thirty eight. Thirty eight. This may end today. If you do your cord cutting today, it may end today or in the next 21 hours. Yeah. Do whatever cord cutting you're instructed or guided to do. 85 could be significant. You could be born in 85. Yeah. You have the power to do this. Yeah, because you have abundance and healthy relationship coming. Okay? Or it's here. And there's something trying to drive a wedge in between you. Yeah. Somebody is... The magician is here. I feel like there's a magician trying to end. So it's somebody's energies the divine counterparts are trying to end cycles and then there's energies working against you which is these fucking demonic spiritual spouses that are trying to fuck up the collective and keep everybody separated okay <sighs> king of cups came out cancer or pisces scorpio okay this could be the devil this could be the energy that is attached the the energy could be attached to this person some of you could be capricorns Fourteen, fifteen is significant Emperor energy is the Ten of Cups. King of Cups is the devil. That's a message for some of you. This is your true spouse. Clarify the King of Cups and the devil. I don't know why they have me have me do this. Look at this. 10-10. This is judgment. 29 is significant. Somebody's realizing that they need to go within or that they needed to look within and this is why. This is why you were told to look within. <sighs> because you had to heal this sexual trauma in order to make the right decision or see the truth. This was the divorce that you were supposed to, oh my God, this is not for all of you. This is for some of you. Maybe it is for all of you. I don't know. This is the divorce that needed to happen. 
some of you could have been remember i always say like inheritance and i'm like some of you think this is like a physical inheritance but it's actually a spiritual inheritance some of you were looking at these messages and thinking oh my god i was supposed to have a divorce in the physical some of you are supposed to have a divorce in the physical but some of you had to divorce this entity It was the entity. And you're definitely an empress that needed to do this. You could be 37 or 73 could be significant. 7, 11, 11, 7. A Sagittarius could have helped you do this. Or the reason why this is being shown is because you're balanced. You have healed. Yeah, they're saying yes, that's true. This is why you're receiving these messages. You've done the work. It's time to move on away from this energy. You could also have an air sign who is very emotionally limited. This person is very sneaky. This person was trying to create an imbalance in your life as well. Yep. Because they wanted to hold on to you. They did not want you to leave. 25. There's the 25. 25 could be significant. Fifty-three could be significant. Maybe they thought that they. So who is this person? This is someone who sees you as a wish granted, but their wish granted is to keep you stuck. What does that sound like? <laughs> ten, ten. Told you. This person. This person is not your spouse. They wanted you to think that they were your spouse. Told you. They infiltrated your consciousness. That's what they wanted for you. They were working with this demon. Or this demon had attached to them. I'm going to get some clarity for you guys. This is, I told you guys I was trying to study. I was doing study to see what was creating blockages for everybody. This is what it was. <sighs> Who is work? So let me ask this. Is this um, demon, this spiritual spouse demon, is this shit attaching to any of the twin flames? Masquerading like, is it possessing? How about that? Is it possessing any of the twins? Could be possessing a cancer. Yep. If it's making you uncertain of what you want to do or who you want to walk away from, it's possessing you. You need to be strong. It could be possessing a Leo. So here, we're about to get some clarity. <laughs> Um, who is this demon encompassing or possessing? A Libra. It's causing this person to rebel towards a Virgo. The maiden is the Virgo. Um, this Libra could also be viewing this Virgo as a rebel, but that's not the case. It's because this demon has attached itself to this Libra. And it even communicates to this Virgo through her higher self, because that's your fucking twin. I told you. I knew it. Yep. 
Capricorn. It could be attached to a Capricorn as well or could be communicating to a Capricorn. Yep, your twins. An, a Scorpio, an Aquarius. I feel like it's attacking all of you. Gemini. Yep, a Leo is here. Damn, it's just traveling. Who are they? Who is this trying to? It's wound. It came in through a wound. I told you. You got to heal yourself, dude, in order to get rid of this. But you can also cut cords too. But you have to. You have to heal your wound because it's going to keep coming back in. Yeah, you got to take care of yourself here. Yeah. Could be a Scorpio trying to achieve a Virgo's knowledge, hidden knowledge as well. <sighs> Could be using a Scorpio to do this. Could be a Scorpio clinging on to a Taurus as well. What do we need to know about this energy? Death. It's coming to an end. This is over. This is this is over. This marriage is over. <laughs> this marriage is over. Will the cord cutting be successful? Yes. Yep. You want to use a green candle? Some of you want to use a red candle. Yeah. Both. Some of you need to use both. Yep, both. Pisces Cancer is very significant. What do you want to say about these Cancer Pisces? They could have sent this shit to you. A Cancer or a Pisces could have sent this shit to a Divine Feminine. For what? To fuck up your balance. To keep you imbalanced. To fuck up your intuition. To make you let go. To be alone. To be miserable. To have... Con to cause conflict in your healing who is this pisces or cancer who is this let's ask first was it a cancer or a pisces that did this this could be somebody's fucking mother that did this who's the pisces that did this or the can was it a pisces or a cancer this person is a victim Or they view themselves as a victim. It could be both of them. A Cancer and a Pisces. Yeah, this person could have had people stalking you for them. Because they knew some type of reunion was coming. They could have even sent a Leo. What were they... Why did they send this um, thing to them? Why? Because of money. High roller. Because of money. Because they're addicted to money. And they encompass a trickster energy. They were trying to trick you, Virgo. You're a high priestess. Somebody wanted to be romantically involved with you. This was your own twin. And this trickster tried to prevent it. <laughs> they wanted you single. Who the fuck wanted them single? that stopped them online who's the okay so who is their counterpart lord have mercy could be a loner this person could be in the spotlight this person is a magician this person watches you your counterpart is a cancer virgo Who is 
the king that's an air sign that's a player? <laughs> the Libra. Thank you. And who is this person? Who's the Libra? Why are they here? This person is a fake phony fraud. They're putting on a mask because they want an earth sign. They want that Virgo. They're a vampire. They're trying to sabotage this person's destiny. This person is working with this demon. This Libra is working with this demon. Told you. And they disguise themselves as trying to take care of you. This person may put you in your ego. It's because this person is fucked up. This person is immoral. This person... They may be a good performer, though. This is giving... This is giving masquerade energy. This person is wearing a fucking masquerade mask. This person is a demon. This person ain't shit, but a trickster. <laughs> that Libra could be attached to a Pisces. For some of you, not all of you, or a Cancer. Yeah, they argue, though. They're getting their shit. <laughs> Told you. There's the Libra and the Pisces. So what's going to happen to these motherfuckers? They're going to stay together. They're going to have victory that they may not want to have. They're going to start over. That Leo is coming to collect on a debt. Because it did work for them. I don't know. This is like an energy perhaps. Or it could be an actual person. It went after the Virgo. But it didn't. Um, it went after you guys. Divine Feminines here. It may have fucked you up a little bit financially. But it's over like. So now they have to pay the piper, I'm hearing. Wow, this is nuts. They could have done this. Did, is this a couple that works together to destroy counterparts? You know what that means. They could have done this to three divine feminines already. I told you. 30 fucking three. Three, three. They destroyed three women's lives. Three women were victims. Are victims. Of this Libra Pisces. They did this for money. Or because they're greedy. They ended something in these people's lives. But they're not doing this anymore. They will not be allowed to do this to anyone else. Now they're scared. Forty-four, four, four, four is significant. This is justice. Sagittarius was looking out for a divine feminine. This is someone who's no longer living. The Sag is no longer living. They're attached to a high priestess. This is a father, like I always channel. Wow. There's a lot of weird shit going on right now. What is 
is what is the dad want to say to the divine feminine? What does the deceased dad want to say <sighs> to the divine feminine? Rebel. <laughs> because fuck it. <laughs> Continue to be a rebel. Divine Feminine. This could be your dad. What does the dad want to say to the energies that forcefully married his daughter? And the energies that keep attacking his daughter? Ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. This should have been something that you asked a professional before doing. Okay. Whatever you did, you should have asked a professional. Um, you are giving too many fucks. Give zero. Yeah, you cared too much about something that shouldn't have mattered. What do you want to say to this Pisces and Libra? What do you want to say to this Pisces and Libra? Whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. So he's warning you not to do something. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Get the fuck outside, move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. So some of you could be, the Libra and the Pisces could be overweight. Um, somebody could have an attitude. Okay. What do we need to know when we cut these cords? What do they need to know when they cut these cords? It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass. You got a feeling you just can't shake. That little voice inside you, listen to that shit. You already know what's coming. That's your intuition. Spirit's telling you to listen to your intuition. You know what's going to happen. All hell's going to break loose. <laughs> All hell's going to break loose. Drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Yep, somebody's going to be pissed and have an attitude. That's why I just channeled attitude. And then spirit is saying drop the attitude. Somebody's going to be livid when this occurs. What's going to happen when... The collective cuts these cuts the cords and divorces these spiritual spouses, these demons here. What's gonna happen with the collective when they divorce these spouses? Powerful personal growth. Transition to the spiritual realm. They're going to be sent back to the spiritual realm and cast off and put in timeout in the corner. Remember I kept channeling timeout? They're going to be cast away, far away from you, energetically. The angel of death may come and bring them back. So the power lies within you to send them back. Collision of beliefs, a storm. I told you, attitudes and energies. They may try to fight back at first. But they're going to be sent back. They're going to be sent back. You have the power to do this. And then you can treat yourself. Oh, Lord. You are seeing this clearly. You are a seer. You are clairvoyant. This is something that you're seeing clearly. Poe, like Edgar Allan Poe. Time for change to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. I also kept seeing walls, um, the walls come down, Jericho, like the walls of Jericho. That has something to do with technology as well. So some of you are going to be learning something new in technology or 
upgrading something. <laughs> Whatever you were blocked from doing, you're no longer going to be blocked uh, by this fucking thing. Whatever these things are, you know? These things that have been keeping us stuck. What do you want to say to these things that keep us stuck and the people that actually willingly worked with these energies? What do you want to say? Sweetness and synergy has cleared this away. Your healing has gotten rid of this. Remember I kept channeling clean up, time to clean house? <laughs> That's what's happening right now. This is the epiphany that we've been waiting on. This is the intuition here. Listen to your intuition. So spirit is really heavily preaching about this intuition at this time. Listen to your inner voice. Your ancestors are with you. Okay? You are protected. So if some of you are scared, there's no need to be scared. Okay? No need to be scared. This was the blind spot that I was talking about in my previous videos. Remember, we couldn't see something. Spirit kept saying, there's something you're not seeing. This was it. It was hiding. It was the hidden enemy that we could no longer, that we couldn't see. Forgive these people for they know not what they do. It wasn't time yet for us to know. Now it's time for us to know. Okay. Who wants to talk to us right now and give us a message about divorcing these 1010? Damn. 1010. This is the ending of a cycle, guys. This is huge. This is it. This is over. This is the high priestess. I am one with my soul, and my soul is a legacy of love. And a Dewana. You're going to be free once you do this. The red goddess. Playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. The goddess of light. We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. Lakshmi, the goddess of abundance. I choose to feel abundant. Wealth is an inside job. You're going to receive your abundance. You're going to be able to quickly manifest. Whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest that has been blocked from you by these negative weird disgusting vile energies are going to be removed oh, Lord. anything you want to say about these energies that have possessed some men and women that have been blocking us because we were spiritually married to these other fuckers That's the mask. You have finally, we have finally unmasked. We now see them for who they are. This is why they were rejecting you or you were rejecting them continuously. Because you loved yourself or you were in the process of loving yourself. They also didn't want you to love yourself. Okay. This was a cycle that is over. Told you. Why is it now time for us to know this when we didn't know this before? What unmasked this? Because you discovered your life purpose. You've been living in your life purpose or you figured it out. You had some type of epiphany recently about your life purpose. This is why. This could be part of your life purpose. Unmasking these people. Somebody could be sad because they sold out and you didn't. Uh, pay attention to the signs at who this person may be. Who is mad that this divine feminine or these divine feminines didn't sell out because they sold out? This is someone living in their ego. This is somebody who sold the fuck out. Who sold out? Who sold out? 
somebody that was attached to a queen, or this could be a queen. Yeah. This is a player. This is a masculine energy that I'm channeling. This was a masculine energy that was connected that had a secret affair with a Virgo. That's a queen. This person is a vampire. What's the zodiac sign of this sellout? Who's the sellout? This person is a gypsy soul. They feel like they're a victim. They have victim consciousness. There it is, victim consciousness. <laughs> they have access to the to higher knowledge though. Their mother could be a high priestess. Their mother is a witch. This person is a crone. They taught their son everything that they know. This is a Taurus. This mother could be a Taurus or the Divine Feminine's mother could be a Taurus. This person could be highly violent. An empath. Okay, who's the vampire? This person is a stalker or they could be a detective. They could have hired a Gemini to stalk this Virgo. This player is very intuitive, dark empath energy. They also do magic. What's the sun sign? What's the sun sign? Aries. Also after an earth sign. Who are they trying to block? These are a lot of people after this. Medusa was blocking someone who just wanted to control. Or it could have been Medusa blocking these people too. They... Who was in who was the vampire CEO that was in charge of all of this chaos? Who was in charge? Fucking water sign. But they were connected. This is a fucking Libra. This is a wizard. This person could have been famous in their past life, too. This is someone who sabotaged. This is a Sagittarius, lovers, chemistry, Scorpio, Pisces. person that's been stalking this queen Virgo for centuries that will not release them or didn't want to release them that bound them for eternity 53 could be significant what's the sun sign Gemini. But this person is a fucking magician. Aries. <laughs> oh my god, this person is a fucking witch. Okay, I need to stop cussing. I'm sorry. This person is a witch. But they're also an empath. But there's also someone with no emotion, who's a mother, who could be stalking this feminine too. I told you. Because they want to sabotage this person. This Libra energy wants to come out. Could be a Libra. Damn. This person, you guys, you don't find feminines who are Virgos, you better watch out. Because these people are stalking you. You got a bunch of people watching you and stalking you, trying to like, do, what do they want? What do these people want? These people sold out. They're sellouts. They want you sad. They want you to procrastinate. They want you to get off your path. They want you to question yourself, not believe in yourself. They want you to be standing in pride and be prideful instead of discovering your life purpose. So what is what are they doing? What is Divine Feminine doing at this time? What is this when she divorces this entity? What's gonna happen when she divorces this entity? It completes the cycle. 
have faith, the cycle will be completed. 6 plus 22 is 28. 28 can be significant. You're beautiful. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8, 28 is significant. Eighty-eight is also here. How teachable are you? Remember to be teachable. Remember to learn. There's someone here who you need to learn from at this time. Who is this person that she needs to learn from? Someone who could be wild or seem very wild. Fifteen could be significant. Okay. You have to let someone go who tried to put a hole in your soul with sexuality. This person could have wanted to control you sexually. You got to let them go. This person could have a hole in their own soul. Who is the hole in their soul? Who has the hole in their soul? For some of you, this is your own fucking twin. Who has the hole in their soul? You got to let someone go because they're not... They got an old soul, but it also has a hole. Who has a hole in their soul? It's the vampire. This person. This is the person that's after the Virgo. This is, could be a friend of you, Virgo. This person may come in. You may think this person is a sage, but they're a vampire. Yeah, they just want to sabotage you. You could also have a Leo that's an empath. That doesn't want you to be with a water sign. They want you to be alone. Who the fuck is this Leo? Good God. You got a lot of people after you. <laughs> I asked who is this Leo and it's a Libra. There could be a Libra out here that does magic that's masking themselves as a Leo. Because they're cloaking their energy. I told you there's too many people out here that's doing magic. Is this Libra cloaking their energy with a Leo? That's a yes. Because they want to confuse you. This toxic as hell. Not only are you toxic in the physical, but you're toxic in the spiritual realm. No good can come of that. You're mis you're abusing your, your gifts. So what do we need to know about this cutting this cord or having this divorce from this demon? You're going to have to be courageous now. It's going to time to be brave. Remember that? Time to be brave. Be wild. Get in your wild phoenix energy to complete this cycle. That's the energy you're going to have to encompass. How teachable are you? Remember to be teachable. You're going to have to stand up. <laughs> Stand up in the damn court of law. <laughs> the spiritual court. And tell them. No, no. No more. No more. We, we're going to court. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, I feel so much better. Like, this is finally here. <sighs> this is finally here. I'm about to go get lunch after I'm done with this to treat myself. You guys, if you guys cut cords, you need to let me know how it is. If you need um, help, just message me or email me. I can assist you if you want to get a, um, a life coach hour thing. They're on sale for like 12 bucks for the hour or something like that. If you want to do that and I can assist you with your cord cutting, I will, I will be happy to do that. Um, if not, just listen to your intuition. That's all you have to do. Don't be scared. Be brave. Okay. Be brave. Have courage. Stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself very focused. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. So... If you wanted to wait till night to stare at the moon or the stars, do that before you do your cord cutting. Friendship. 
fairies and humans alike need friends. Now's the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. Right. And that's why I was saying if you wanted to order one of those readings, I can help you with the cord cutting. I'm not scared of no ghost. <laughs> <laughs> okay we got this okay we are spiritually protected listen i've been dealing with these energies for a very long time okay these energies do not scare me um yeah i've had things being thrown at me while i'm on the phone with my best friend and she's like what are you serious and like even she gets freaked out but i'm so used to shit like cussing out demons in the spiritual realm and having them like fuck up my tv or throw something across the room like i'm not joking this literally happens to me all the time so i'm not scared come at me no don't <laughs> i mean and i will say no one is above god but you know who does have a hell of a hit okay they he, he they are these things are heavy hitters but you know you get back up you recover and you keep going okay because you're fucking strong wish wisely use your wishes wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true so what can we look forward to after we divorce these things Protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. <gasps> protect your dreams. Something about protecting your dreams. That's protecting your manifestations. Make sure that when you're manifesting or journaling, you're burning like Palo Santo. I have a Palo Santo right here. Um, or saying a prayer. Okay. Music. Listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies. Nature's signs. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We need only open our hearts and our minds. So let's see what song wants to come out at this time. What song on my Spotify do we need to know at this time? What song? Playlist. Yeah, on my playlist. 14. I knew this was going to be super long. Love is blind. That's a message for some of you. All right. One, two, three, four, five. So the song that came out was Where You Belong from Fifty Shades of Grey, The Weeknd, Where You Belong. Okay. If you don't know what that song is, you need to listen to it. We need to ask who that came from. Who was that message from? Where You Belong. Who is channeling this message? Is this the entity? Or is this... This is the entity, and I knew it. Fifteen could be significant. Something about 15 is significant. I don't know if this person's birthday is January 5th. This person was born on the 15th. This person woke up in 2015. This person has known you. I don't know. This is the energy. Where you belong. Let me just tell you something. That song is from Fifty Shades of Grey. You know that song? That song's about submission and domination. These energies want to dominate you, keep you single. They encompass you know who, okay? So they don't really love you, okay? Let me see. Spiritual meaning behind the number 15. Maybe this is this person is a life path 15. I don't know. There's something about this number that is weird i've been seeing this for a very long time 
the angel number 15 means that good things are coming. Let me see what 15 means in the Bible. The number 15 in the Bible is rest. It means to rest. Wow. Oh my God. It means to rest after deliverance. Because you're being delivered from this entity. Wow. Holy shit. Deliverance. Wow. Wow. I can't even say. I that's all I can say is wow. Wow. Okay. What do we need to know? What's crazy about this is I've been channeling a Pisces, correct? And on the 10th is the new moon in Pisces. <laughs> That's in two days. Tell me what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? I don't like the feeling of this. Who is this talking? Remember I told you guys I can feel energy, right? Who is this asking what they're going to do? This is the hidden enemy channeling right now because it's pissed off. Told you. I, I can feel energy. It's talking to the Virgo. Spirit allowed it to come through, though, for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. If you guys wanted to know what I felt when I was channeling this energy and I knew it was it coming through is because I felt a sense of fear. And I felt I started getting shaky and I felt angry. And dizzy. So it's pissed off because it knows it's about to be delivered. You're about to be delivered from this. And now it's like, tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life then? is telling you at this time to be calm. Be calm. You're fine. You are loved. You are love. You encompass love. If you love somebody, let them go. For if they return, they were always yours. And if they don't, they never were. If you're wondering, if you're worried that if you do this, you're going to lose someone, Spirit is telling you you will not lose anyone that is meant and destined to be with you. Whatever this nasty, vile energy was that was attaching to you or your person, when you deliver it from yourself, it will be delivered from them because they are you. You deserve happiness. You don't deserve to be in turmoil mentally, emotionally, physically, financially. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. Okay? This thing is still around here, and it's like making me feel ill. So I'm probably going to have to go so that I can sage my space and all of this stuff 
yeah it wants to know see it keeps asking what are you going to create it keeps wanting to um get out of me what i'm trying to create and what you guys are wanting to create it wants to know it's being blocked even now okay it did not an ex it did not expect you to gain this wisdom because it was an arrogant entity this entity is very arrogant <laughs> and whoever is um and whoever it is encompassing the person could be very arrogant as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm signing off. Okay. All right. I wish you guys well. Um, do your due diligence. You know what to do. Okay. Um, spirit wants me to not it but spirit okay <laughs> wants me to give you a message um it preyed on your innocence you are encouraged to reconnect with your inner child it preyed on your inner child in order to become more spontaneous and playful and consider what life has to offer. Take some time this week to get in touch with the innocence and vulnerability in you. Have fun. But it did prey on your innocence. It preyed on your inner child. Okay? This thing is showing up as a coyote. Playfulness is here. But it showed up as a coyote. And I'm still feeling ill. So <laughs> I'm going to go, guys. I got to clear my space. Clear my energy. Let me know if you guys need help. Um, go touch grass. Touch a tree. Hug a tree. Um, it can't stand nature. <laughs> it hates nature. So if you're one that is always stuck in the house or always feeling like you want to stay in your bedroom or stay in your house, this is why. This energy doesn't like the earth. It hates the earth. Yep, told you. <laughs> it wanted to keep you away from the earth. Because earth is healing for you. Okay? Remember that. Alright, I love you guys.